So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Planner with Microsoft Teams on an iPhone. And before we get started, just to let you know that I'm posting two videos a week at the moment. So if you don't want to miss anything, then hit the subscribe button. So we start out with the Teams app on the iPhone. And when you go in, you usually land on the Activity tab. And if you go to Teams, you'll see all the teams you're a member of and the channels. And you can see I've got communications here and I've got the general and the training channels. And if I hit the training, I can see all the conversations that have been going on in that channel. And I've also got a tabs view at the top here. And that shows me all the additional tabs that have been added to this team. And you can see I've got files, which will show me all the files that are available. And I've also got Wiki and the Creative Cloud. But I've also got this one called Workshop Plan. If I press this, this is actually going to take me to the Planner app. So Planner app lands on the Planner Hub page, which shows you the buckets of tasks. So you can see at the top here, I've got content creation and I've got some tasks listed here. And I can also swipe left to the next bucket, which is called logistics. And you can see the tasks in there. And you can see things like the checklist, who it's assigned to, whether it's past its due by date, you can see that's highlighted in red there. Now I can also go to the My Tasks tab at the bottom, which will show me all my personal tasks. So these are the ones assigned to me and they're sorted by uh, their status. So I've got not started at the top here. I can swipe left to in progress and completed as well. So if I was to take one of these tasks here and go into it and say change the status to completed, once I go back, I can see now that task will be added to the completed list. So the things you need on your phone to do that are the Microsoft Teams and the Microsoft Planner app. And they're free downloads from the App Store. And once you've downloaded them, you just need to authenticate, which is to put in your email address and your password, and then you should be good to go. So in this video, I showed you how to use Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Planner on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.